Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron. In this video, we're going to be touching on the subject of um, extractor fans and respirators, um, which I know it's a bit of a dry subject, but it is a subject that needs to be addressed really. Um, so the whole reason for extractor fans and um, having things like these face masks is basically in modeling there's all sorts of chemicals and everything that we uh, mess around with that we can breathe in and basically can seriously sort of like damage our lungs and everything um, and these types of chemicals I mean you know at the top of the list everybody knows it you get an airbrush and you start spraying paint and the overspray basically goes up in the air and you breathe it in breathing into your lungs um, which we have things like we got the enamel paints and cellulose paints those two types of paints are they are very actually quite potent really and you really don't want to be breathing them things in which is why um, acrylics have probably got so popular they do dry quicker um, and they're not as harmful as enamels and lacquers um, and in saying that I don't want you to take that as oh yeah yeah that's fine you can breathe it in you know they're still harmful they're just not as harmful as enamel enamels and and lacquers you still want to be you know doing extractor fans and and your respirators and stuff um, but then there are other sides to modeling where you still need to have this stuff on and wear this um, stuff as well um, we've got all sorts of things a um, few examples I've got here Tamiya extra thin cement um, I mean admittedly you're not spraying this but I mean if you open this up and give it a sniff it is mega mega potent probably more potent than anything else um, that's on here this stuff is pretty damn well yeah pretty damn dangerous I mean I know when I first brought um, this and first used it um, you know it does give you headaches and it does make you feel a bit high and a bit drowsy and everything um, you know so you, even when you're using this stuff it's probably not a bad idea to put your face mask on or have a door at least have a door open get some sort of ventilation in the room or an extractor fan on in the background or something like that because it is that is still quite potent um, and you know you've also got CA glue super glue um, that's also can be a bit potent more so when I do kind of teach sometimes um, you get a lighter and you can sort of um, on a glue applicator if you light it it burns off um, the CA glue um, I did read somewhere that what it burns off is it can be like dang, really dangerous chemicals I forgot what it was I think it might have been arsenic or something like that um, but what it was whatever it burns off is quite um, you know quite potent so you don't really want to be you know burning lots of this stuff off in a you know a non-ventilated room without your respirators and all that kind of stuff um, there are other things I mean we've got cellulose thinners here we use this um, for all sorts of things uh, from thinning stuff uh, techniques and stuff this is pretty potent as well and, and highly flammable um, also um, and then just off the top of my head I mean we've got the Mr. Surfacer stuff some of the fillers and the putties I mean they've got you know some nasty chemicals in there uh, admittedly it's not going to get in the air as much as spraying and stuff but the whole idea is you still want to have some sort of ventilation you know whether you have your door your windows open extractor fan on in the background um, I know people hate wearing these I hate wearing them um, but you definitely want to be wearing them for the more potent stuff um, you know I, I just mentioned the Mr. Surface so just painting that on I mean it's not giving off that much in fume wise so you're probably not going to need to put a respirator on um, but yeah you know definitely with the the spraying um, and all those kind of things as well um, the other things as well where you want to be um, wearing a respirator as well which by the way this is um, an M3 respirator I do actually like this one and um, you can go to pretty much any online store and they've got something like this especially like um, um, the proper spray online stores like um, everythingairbrush.com um, those kind of places they're really cool we can change the filters they just literally pop on and off um, and it does give you a good seal 
all around your mouth and your nose because it's got this sort of like it's sort of like rubbery so it really gives you a good seal um, and they're not too bad to breathe through and we've got all sorts of different straps to adjust it and everything so uh, you know that's a good respirator I think it was around about 20 30 pounds you can get cheaper ones for probably under 10 pounds um, you know something's better than nothing but you know it is a good idea to buy at least a decent respirator if anything because I mean you know compared to say our um, extractor fan here this costs around um, over 200 pounds to buy but this really does suck out the air out of the room really really well um, very very a good product to get if you can fork out the extra money um, I do believe this is from oh what is it um, aircraft um, aircraft.net or something uh, I forgot where it was but um, you know if you do a search for um, what's the model number it is a 300 SD this is the one I've got I do believe they've updated that now to a BV 300 SD they've just changed the first two letters um, from being an A to a BV um, same sort of model and everything same sort of price just um, it's slightly been updated it's more um, rectangular more box shaped and it's got a bit of a, a curve at the back there um, but yeah they work really well these do um, and getting back to um, other things that people don't seem to sometimes kind of forget and that's doing stuff like sanding as well I mean we could you could be sanding plastic um, sanding like the green putty or any kind of filler you've been sanding off um, been doing the HMS victory build as well I mean sanding off the wood you know you sand that off and it goes up into the air and you breathe it in um, you know it's sort of just the same thing it's going to damage your lungs so you want to have extractor fans on uh, face masks on there as well uh, when it does come to sanding if you do do a wet sand um, the wet sand does catch and hold loads most of actually uh, the sanding dust that you, you're sanding because the the actual water catches it all and you end up with just like a, a load of mushy um, sanding dust which does help as well um, but if you don't do wet sand it's going to go up in the air um, which then brings us on to resin I mean when you're cutting sawing sanding resin um, you know same thing the dust comes up in the air and you breathe it in and resin is um, an even more dangerous um, type of chemical that you don't want to be getting in your lungs or breathing it in it is probably you know it's up there as being one of the most dangerous things you know you've got your dangerous cellulose thinners tamurex thin cement um, lack of paints enamel paints resin those are the things up there that you really want to you know make sure you've got all protected with um, also um, just to kind of tell you what kind of setup I have I have these two uh, extractor fans that are actually in the loft and they are just like um, really on full blast all the time and I've soundproofed it so you know you can't really hear it which is great and those are you know on p pretty much all the time um, for me personally if you could do something like that I mean these extractor fans there they're actually not that expensive I mean the one I brought was uh, oh, I forgot, around about 60 or 70 pounds I paid for that um, and it is actually more powerful than the one that's in here it's just you've got to go off install it into the roof and get the, the ducting system going on there um, you know and wiring it all into like the proper um, proper wiring it in with a switch and everything like you would with a light switch type of thing um, so yeah, I mean, cheaper, um, but you've got to go about it um, a bit differently. You might have to get an electrician um, or, or something like that. But those two really do help with extracting stuff out the room. And then with this extractor fan on as well, that helps as well as um, the face masks that I use. Now, when actually spraying, you don't want your extractor fan over the other side of the room. Um, you want to literally be where you're spraying, where you're pointing at is actually pointing at the extractor fan. So we've got our model here, we're spraying with our airbrush. So when our spray hits the model, we're spraying our model, but the overspray goes this way towards the extractor fan. So then it sucks it out straight away before it can get up and in the air 
um, and, and all those kind of things. Um, so yeah, I, I know it's a bit of a, um, a, a dry subject, a bit boring, um, but for you guys who are new to the hobby, you need to know that these chemicals that I'm teaching you to use, um, you know, I'm basically saying go out and buy them because, you know, that's what you sort of need for different techniques and different parts of the build. You know, you need to know the dangers that come with it and then also what to buy. Uh, now, I know these extractor fans are expensive. You can buy cheaper ones. Um, this is probably, you know, one of the best on the market. Um, you can pick them up for like 70 pounds, but if you know money's a bit tight, the one thing that is an absolute definite is get a face mask. Um, because at the end of the day, these extractor fans extract um, all the chemicals out of the room. You know, if you've got this face, face mask on in your room all the time, you're going to be absolutely fine. It's just that when you take off the gas, uh, the face gas mask, take off the face mask. You know the the pollutant is still in the air and you're still going to be breathing in although you might have stopped spraying you know it's still floating around um you know so at least if you get a face mask you're at least protecting your lungs uh, and then you can open the door and let the place ventilate i mean you could probably just go outside and leave the room for like half an hour or an hour just to let everything settle and flow out of the door or the window and then you can come back in and carry on working um, but that's if you've just started and you know, haven't really kind of condoned the money to go off and say get you know extractor fans or you put one um, extractor fans in the roof or something like that so um, yeah hopefully this video has been a beneficial to you um, you know and hopefully you're going to be thinking more you know protect your lungs you've got to you got to really sort of think about that because it's um it really is you know you don't want this hobby um to ruin your life basically because i um, you could get all sorts of lung problems cancer especially people who um, suffer from asthma, asthma as well you know you're going to have problems um spraying and using these kind of chemicals so um yeah hopefully that's all been helpful and beneficial to you um here at genesis models so until next time my name is bobby waldron um this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed Thank you.